G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days and welcome back to Zawoodle Park, my base building and testing world for Alpha 21 where I try and find what blocks work best against the zombies and how to build better horde bases and I'm coming back today because I stumbled across something the other day that seems like it has a lot of potential but rather than try and explain it to you, I'm just going to show it to you. I don't remember the exact configuration that I had at the time, but it's not super important. The only important part is this bit just here. This pillar block right there, which is called, what do you actually called? The pillar 0.05 middle and rotated around. So it's taking up the top part of the block that it occupies. Something about that churns zombies brains into more butter than a French croissant. So I want to see if I can get that to replicate. And if it does replicate, can I use that to my advantage? Get some classic Arlene's out here to test it out for me. They should just get to the top of that and kind of get confused and basically do nothing. So if you wouldn't mind, Arlene, please just look at my pole and just get confused. Exactly like that. Perfect. Perfect. So she's got to consistently... One out of five made it up, but that's okay. If she's going to consistently look at that and just kind of run against it, not really swing, not really jump, not really do anything. Yeah, there's something there. There's definitely something there. All right. Well, that's where we started. Now we've got to find what we can build with it. I suppose the first thing I want to try, I said this is the super important part that immediately deleted all of it. Get you collapse. I mean, it's quicker normally to do it that way, but with super tools, it doesn't really matter too much. But if I get rid of all of you and just chuck in a regular pathing way, it's just a regular platform for them to run across, how are they going to react if I start chucking in, like, hurdles like you all along there? Like, are you going to do the same thing? In fact, I might even go down the guts of that one rather than right at the front. Are you going to run up against that and do nothing with it again? I mean, it's worth a crack. It's worth a try. We'll see how it goes. Because potentially, if you could just kind of like stun lock the zombies in place, you won't really have much to worry about. Come on, Arlene. Up you come. It's like the good old days back in Alpha 17. Yeah, you do. I mean, you do jump it eventually, but you spend a good lo <laughs> a good long while just having no idea what you're actually doing there. Plenty of time. Looks like standing perfectly still as well. Plenty of time to line up a juicy headshot or whatnot. I mean, that's pretty good. It's just like as a hurdle, like you can shoot below, you can shoot over. I am actually a bit curious how it's going to handle doggos. So real quick, can I get some zombie dogs, please? Run a couple of you. Because normally, like, zombie dogs can, like, run under these things. But if they're going to struggle to jump in as well, this might be a really good zombie dog to, uh, deterrent. It's not perfect yet, but we'll get there. What's going to happen? What's going to happen to you? Not a, lot. Not a lot. The dogs don't really care about it at all. It's mostly just like the normal size zombies. All right. Good to know. Thanks for that one. What if I go double high? If I have that moment of like second guessing themselves, what if I go too high? Here she comes again. She's made it to the first one. Try to jump. Ooh. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Who replaced your knees with springs and jetpacks? That's like a two minute jump. What the? <laughs> what? I mean, like, some of you jumped off your friends, but look, you've got no one underneath you. And you just decided to, you just decided the hop, skip, and jump all the way up to the tippy top? That was ludicrous. I mean, it only happened, oh, yeah, there you go. I thought for a second I, I was seeing things, but no, definitely happened that time. How can you jump so high? Is this like a new thing they've brought out to try and counter... Like exactly this, like two high walls. Zombies can just jump more than two meters now? Ah, uh, well, that's interesting. Of, of all the things I thought I would discover today, jetpack zombies was not one of them. I actually destroyed the hurdles, uh, thinking I was going to move on to something else. But instead, so, okay. So if Arlene can just hop over the top of them with nary a care in the world, what if I... What if I try and lock her in? We'll go like three high on you and we'll actually chuck a roof in and just see if that works out a little bit better. You give me a plate, please. Plate, that one. 
I mean, even just by themselves, it's a better hurdle than the others, like bars and stuff like that. Because you never get stuck there for a little while. But what if I just get you properly snug? Properly snug and tucked in like a sleepy poodle. You're good. Get some arls. Here you go. I mean, you can't get over the top now. You're trapped in. It's also three high, so I doubt you could, I could get over the top anyway. But I want to see what happens. Because if she can't jump, will she just jump sometimes and then just keep trying to run through? Because that's the important thing, that she doesn't seem to see it as a barricade. Just charges straight into it. So there you go. Well, she finally took a swing. She jumps. Can't... I was going to say can't get through, but glitch through the wall a little bit. Ooh, yeah, all right. So occasionally it leaks zombies here and there, but it's really not that bad. In fact, that roof is now causing problems. It's causing them to crouch and crawl. And when they crawl, they squeeze through and get through to the bars. No, thank you. Got to find something different. I want to see if it has the same effect with the thinner pillars. So now I'm using the 0.025. So they're half the diameter of what I was using a second ago. Uh, do I want to go all the way up to three? Yeah, we'll go three. We'll go three. Why not? In fact, without the roof, she shouldn't go into crawling. And hopefully we'll get stuck behind it for a little bit longer. You stay there. Arlene, please. Now, I don't particularly trust these. I used this in the Clock Tower series back in Alpha 20, and that went pretty badly for me, so I'm not really sure how many eggs I put into this basket, but we'll see what happens. So she's struggling again. That's some serious hops. That's some serious hops Arlene has got. She could jump on the back of Robert Hood's horse in no time. Get rid of you guys, but like, it's still tricking her a little bit. There still seems to be something going on there where she's just not having a great time of it. Hmm. Okay, I reckon. I reckon on the flatland isn't a goer. I reckon I was having more success with the like on the stairs, and then her trying to jump up onto the uh, onto the pillar. Very similar to the barn base that I made back at the start of Alpha Twenty. A long time ago now, so get rid of you, get rid of you, and we'll try it again. There's got to be a good combo here somewhere. I've just replaced that platform with those skinnier poles, still the point oh two five, skinnier than the first ones I tried. Now, this should, I mean, it's clearly working because she's trying to path up here. Because it's a centered pole, it does actually appear as a viable path for the zombies. Actually, that's kind of interesting because they think they're actually inside the block already. They start trying to get on the hop immediately and run back towards me. Yes, I know you're in destroy everything mode. You're fine. Hmm. Right. That's actually not too bad. If you want to make like a zombie drop, that wouldn't be too bad at all. But it doesn't hold them in place like the point oh fives did. Nah, I think that's a bust. I think that's a bust. Thank you, Arlene. Now, I'll try something else. I've rebuilt a, a similar version to what we had at the very beginning when we first saw the zombies getting confused. But this time, I've just sprinkled a bit of zhuzh on the top of it to make it a little bit fancier. Just something to block their super high ridiculous jumps. I've never seen that before. That is something new and undiscovered for me. I'm sure someone else knows about it, but I've never seen that before. So now I know about it, I've got to counter it a little bit. And I've also just extended my platform over here to be a lot further away. I'm further than 11 blocks away from where they'll be dropping, so they shouldn't go into destroy everything mode. 11 blocks being the golden number for that. That is, if you're 11 blocks away from where they drop, they'll go back into their pathing mode and not start destroying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arlene. All right, you do you down there, champion. I'll just wait for you up here. Yeah, that's way better. That's way better. In fact, I think having that second killer was actually probably a bit, of, a bit detrimental. I... I reckon if I built that with more of a gap between them, you wouldn't need the double. I don't know why I built two, but to handle higher... Look at that. To higher handle numbers of zombies, you need both pathways. So it's specifically... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Come on. Come on. I'm taking the piss. You can't melt zombie brains. You're completely knackered. You're completely stuck. And if you try and jump by extend that gap in the middle, you're not going to get up to me anyway. Perfect. Absolutely bloody bonza, Cobber. That's exactly what I was hoping for. You're still here. 
I now have a pet Arlene. Like I'm freaking Michonne without cutting off your arms. You're perfect. Just, you and I can hang out forever now. I have a pet Arlene. Pat, pat, pat. So I wonder if there's something like special about that configuration about it though. It definitely seems to be like when they need to jump up onto it that they completely brick themselves. There's something there. So I don't want to get them up onto the level of the pillars. I need to have that be the next level up. Oh, look. Oh, that, you finally made it up there. You finally made it up. Congratulations. So did you. So what finally made her jump then? Was it because the second one came up to say good day? Yours. You're still just playing Ring of Ring of Rosie by yourself with all of your friends, like Millhouse on a seesaw. But what made you finally jump? Like, you've been here for a long time. You haven't taken a swing, and you haven't tried to jump it yet. But why? I love getting the results, but I need to know the function. I need to know the reason why, so I can replicate it again later. So I have an idea. I've built a, a basically the same thing on the other side. Just connected the two. You're out of symmetry though. We need symmetricality in all the things we build. Symmetry is everything. You go like that and you go like that. There you go. That looks a little bit better. So I just replicated the same thing on the other side. Purely so I can build this. So if I have a solid block there, a gap underneath and a 0.05 pillar, is that what's cooking them is that what's doing their noggins in and i want to know so to try replicate that as best i can i'm gonna get a sheet and stick you against that block there so then i can place some pillars up above like you because you the, the zombies will see that that block there as viable pathing they'll see the pillar as viable pathing i'm not sure if the plate's gonna stuff that up for me but i guess we'll just have to kind of find out you can go like there, because look at that. See, so there's still like a gap underneath. And I'll do the same thing again up here. Get that sheet back. I definitely typed that wrong. I'm confused there for a second. Sheets, you and you, and then pillar and pillar. So I don't know if that sheet's going to throw it off. There are other ways to do this if I really need to put the sheets on like the side and hold it all in rather than underneath. But we'll see how we go. So you're good like that. I'm going to stand in the red so the zombies don't start destroying stuff. Get some Arlene's on the go. Arles, want to give us a go for me there, love? Come on, up you go. Well, they're piling right already, so the piling works. I, I mean, I assumed so, but it's always good to get a uh, vindication of that. Up you go. Now, what happens here? Interesting. Interesting. So something about having no block underneath. I mean, she got over the top. She got, like, <laughs> wigged out there for a second. They do occasionally make it. They're definitely more successful here than they were over there. But there's definitely something about having a gap underneath, isn't there? How long does it take before one of you gives up and starts swinging? You finally jumped. Not sure why, but you did. So when they start grouping up, they do take a, an occasional shot over the top. But, all right. It's, it's better than the point oh two fives were. Jeez, Isles. I'll get rid of all of you. I'll get rid of those sheets and I'll try it again, but that's still got potential like that. It's a it's a bit fedangly to build, but it still works. This is looking a lot more like I've just built like an equestrian course for Arlene to have a crack at. All right, we're playing zombie dressage today. Someone give me a medal in it. Come on, keep going. Up you come. So I've got rid of the sheets that were in the middle of those gaps. Now it's just held on by the sides. I've built almost a literal hurdle for them. See you later. And you're stuck again. They're definitely having some more issues with the pathing than they used to. And I reckon it's because the sheets are actually taking up the blocks. Hang on a second. Taking up the blocks where the pathing... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fucking Bonza Cobber. I love that for me. God damn it. I've changed some things around. So something about having those sheets on, uh, above the stairs where I wanted the zombies to go just broke their pathing a bit. It still should have worked because the zombies don't see the sheets as a real block, but they decided that it existed for once in their lives. So, all right, I'll play your game then. So I've moved everything around. I've moved the stairs and I've got three hurdles in there that I'm really kind of hoping will absolutely destroy any semblance of the zombies' hopes of getting to me. Pop out of my body, get some Arlene's out there. Up you go, Arles. Up the brand new silky smooth stairs for you. Look how generous I am. And over the horse jumps... In fact, <laughs> you just kind of fell straight through and your friends use you as a ramp. 
So they still make it over a little bit more successful than before, but there's only ones at the back. When there's a zombie in front of them, they like... Oh, well, you completely just proved me right then. Thanks for that, Arlene. But most of the time, they're just kind of stuck there. All right. That has enough potential for me to think that it's probably going to work out better for me. Let's get rid of all of you. Let's go. The cheeky doubler. The cheeky doubler horse jump. Put you all the way along. And just because I like physics to actually exist, chuck in some sheets to hold you in place as well. Got to make it look like it's actually attached to something. And see if that is going to work a little bit better. Arlene, if you wouldn't mind coming back for me, please, darling. Up you come. How's this going to go? And you can kind of see as well, like if you were sitting here with any sort of gun, you got headshots for days. So they just get, so they're no longer trying to jump, but they might. We'll see how we go. They just kind of get pushed through the slot underneath and that's kind of the end of it. Catch you later. It's like a mail slot. It's, it's not, a, I mean, it's almost, it's almost an AFK base. There's the occasional errant swing like that one then. They occasionally take a scrap of concrete uh, off it of, or maybe even get over the top like that. Good job, Arles. But I mean, it's about as AFK as you can get without it actually being truly AFK. It really wouldn't take much to defend this at all. So really the only issue now is the super jumps. When I'll catch you later. When Arlen gets on a super jump, when she really bends her knees, gets down low, and then sends it to the sky, she can get over the top of this pretty, pretty significantly. Much better than I thought she could, but even so, like, I haven't killed any of the Arlenes yet. There's still five of them running around. I'm just waiting to see kind of how long it's going to take any of them to reach the bars at the front. This is only three hurdles as well. You could make an awful lot of these. And yeah, with like bigger hordes, they'll jump over each other. But that's okay. Just to kind of like proof of concept to see how it works for the pathing. I've, I've basically made a sled. I'm like the Santa Claus of zombies. And instead of having Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I've got Arlene the Red-Nosed Muppet. And you're just kind of lead, leading the conga line of death. That's fine. This is fine. Oh, we finally got one. We finally got one. Murder you. It took till 1309. I'm actually running at 1% speed as well. So that's a heck and bloody long time. That's that's actually gone really well. All right. Well, let's see what happens if I get even some more there. Let's get a whole bunch of our leans. If I really start crowding it up, that should kind of like clog the system. And I'm assuming they're going to be able to get over the top even easier. Yeah, like that. Because they climb each other rather than climbing the poles. So if I can actually find a way to block off the top of it... I probably wouldn't even need three hurdles. I could just have the one and keep them on the other side. And it really wouldn't cause too many problems at all. But even so, even with 15 Arlene's cruising around, it still took a long time for one to make it. Thank you for that one. They're really struggling with this. I think the key to getting some sort of roof on this is to avoid them going into their crawl animation. Although, because I have the gap underneath, that might actually be worth trying again. Because, yeah, like, before there was a solid platform, so they knew they could go that way. They just went into their crawling mode. But if there's a gap underneath, potentially, they won't. So if I just put a bit of a roof on top, like it's summer and you're slipping and slopping and slapping, got to be sun smart, got to be safe in the sun. Put you along there. You're pretty close to collapsing because I've suspended a lot of concrete weight across you. In fact, you're about to be completely cooked. You know what? Let's just, let's just not take any chances. I don't want another cave-in. I've had enough of that for one day. I would like you all to stay up and running for a little bit longer, please. I don't want to have to rebuild this again. Got some shade, got some hurdles, and hopefully a way to control the zombies. Okay, let's, let's get more. Let's just go all out with a whole bunch of them. I think that's 20-odd. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What that? Hmm. What did I do? Why, why have you all decided that the pathing is no longer good enough for you? Is be Okay, apparently apparently you don't like shade in the desert, Arlene. I knew you weren't the sharpest tool in the drawer, but you're basically a spatula. Get rid of all of that. How's that? Do you like that a little bit more? In fact, I'm going to kill all of you and start fresh with some new ones. All of you guys. AI on. Oh, no, I've broken it. What do you mean I've broken it? What? Oh, there we go. Well, what are you lot doing then? Some of you love it. Some of you don't. I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what's changed. There you go. Now you're all going the right way. 
So you just didn't want to sit in the shade. All right, sick owls. Thanks for that. I love that. So that one's worked a little bit better. I put... Oh, is it because there's a gap above it? I reckon it might be. They can actually slink through that gap. She can really suck it in and slide through the little gap there. What if I block that off? No. Yeah, so that's what does it. That's what does it. Okay, now that I know that, I can get rid of you as well, actually. Get rid of all this extra overhang. Gotta try and build the base out of as few materials as possible. You could use extra materials for aesthetics, but I like trying to make it as efficient as I can. So now that I know that's what's doing you in, why are you all pink? Why don't you like me? Why don't you want to... Why don't... What? Why... Uh, okay, I guess I do need some extra support on the sides then. We'll go up and over the top, just like it was. But if I use a block to cover the top of this one, that's one too many, uh, with like a block that they can't see, like, for example, the slope plate fillers that makes up the force field, potentially that will mean that they won't even try and get across them. You, slow plate filler, that one, the magic block that makes the force field possible. And if I put you like that, I mean, look, I I know Arlene just kind of gives all of her middle fingers to everything to do with physics, but there's no way you can fit through that. Surely. Chuck in some owls. Come this way, please. How's your party going to go this time? Badly. That's the answer. <laughs> Parthing's going to go badly, so you don't work. What if I went... Mm, oh, actually, hang on a second. Hang on a second. You're a pillar. What if I went with the .05 side and got you stuck on just above that? Like, anything, I suppose? I don't know how the zombies are fitting through there in the first place, but we'll see. You, Arlene, come this way. Please go up the stairs. No. No, it still, it, it still cooks them. So you just don't like anything being up there? Get rid of you. Make sure it was actually that. I, well, uh, right, okay. I don't fully understand why that's happened. Why, for some reason, even a block that they can't think they can walk on is enough of a block when that's fine, but... Okay, then. Okay, then we'll have a float to both there, else. So you'll get... Oh, you're going to break... Those sheets are really bloody weak. You're going to break through the side of it. I mean, it doesn't really... Oh, that's actually better because there's no, no sheets underneath now. But you're definitely trapped in there better than before. I suppose it's like, you know, occasionally a zombie makes it through. Not truly AFK, but still really bloody good. I've held them there a long time. I need to stop aiming for perfection. There's just one more thing I want to try with this. Like, I'm already happy. I'm already pretty happy, or very happy, even with how this is all played out. I wasn't expecting it to be this effective. I thought I might slow them down a bit, not completely brick their entire brainstem, and just leave them there running around in circles, waiting for me to do anything wrong and feed myself to them. But, oh, that was one too many. One too many. Apparently, my supports there mean dick all when I break away everything that's actually connected to it. But there's one more thing I want to try, and that is those same horse jumps. I'm going to call this the horse jump. The same horse jumps I had, but instead of having like a flat block in between, I want to see what happens if I have another pillar underneath. Because they, they think they can stand on the pillar. So if I increase that gap, because I think it's working... I see if I can demonstrate this to you a little bit. I think it's working by having the zombies ever so slightly lower than the ground. So they're running up and they're getting attached. That's the wrong bloody thing. Uh, they're getting attached to the pillar on the side, just a bit lower than where the ground actually is. And that means when they try and think about jumping it, they're in the wrong position and they can't get over it because they're kind of like falling into this gap just that little bit. That's my theory. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I'm working with. Because if that's the case, I can do the same thing here and then kind of continue those horse jumps along. And then where are the zombies going to stand? They're always going to be too low. And hopefully, they'll always brick. I just like... <laughs> it's... If you show me this and you're like, hey, this is a completely viable horde base, there's no way I'd believe you. I mean, it may not be yet, but... For goodness sake, it's a couple of twigs. It's a couple of twigs, but it's taking advantage of some rules that we've learned about the zombies to try and make this better for us. I'm going to put you along there again. That's going to keep you nice and safe. And actually, I wonder what happens if they get up on top like that. After, oh, I mean, 
I might chuck a couple of blocks up above it and just really make like a one block gap in there after we've, te we've tested this next thing. There's so many things to test. There's so many things I need to know about. You're good, Arlene. Come with me, please. Up you come. So the pathing works. That's good. I mean, what, what what's even happening in there? What? I, I don't actually know. I think I want to get rid of... Oh, I don't want to get rid of you, actually. You are actually the pillar that's holding it. Hang on a second. What if I go like this thing, get you all the way down to the bottom, and get rid of most of that pillar? This might have a small collapse, but we'll find out. All the way down to there, so there's nothing underneath you. I mean, look, I've, I've made a zombie dropper, which is great, but I want you to stay still. You're not staying still. You're not staying still. All right, I think... I mean, look, this is great for some things, but it's not great for what I needed right now. Because if you were going for easy headshots, they are only there for a moment. I already know how to make zombie droppers. I guess this is another one we can use, but... Okay, I've made it too good. I've made the AFK base too AFK. There's no chance to kill them at all. I've replaced that first one with just how it was with a nice solid block there. So you're up the top and you're getting blocked by the next... By that one, aren't you? All right, so there is definitely like a, a sweet spot for where you want to put those obstructions up on the roof. And it's going to be every second one. So there's still that they can jump through there. They can't land there anyway. I mean, they probably technically can, but bloody good luck to them. So you go up like that. You still get stuck. And then you fall down. And I'm too far away, so you won't go into destroy everything mode. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Because look, if you were sitting down here and you give yourself like anything, not a fire axe, a rifle, give me... Yep, that one will do. Give me... Some, I've got plenty of time to figure it out because they are not, never going to make it to me. You And then grab that one, please. Thank you very much. You can just like... To your heart's content. I mean, they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to make it through. They're going to sit there nice and easy. Like shooting Arlene's in a barrel. All right, despite that being a pretty big success, there's one more thing I want to try. I want to see how Arlene's going to go with that one block up on the... Like, the one block gap above that hurdle there. And if that is still going to let them path properly or not, I'll stand on the red, please. You give me some Arlene's. There you go. You... You do path correctly, but can you make it through? In fact, I might just need some more Arlene's to find out. There's a whole bloody bunch of them. One Arlene's already fallen, so they're not so much getting up and over the top, I don't think. What's happening? No, they're just kind of getting pushed off the edge like lemmings in a Disney film. That was faked, by the way. Lemmings don't do that. Are you, are you good? Here we go. No. So you're even more broken than you were before. So, like, I'm pretty confident with that then. I might get rid of, like, all of this because you're no longer necessary. Oh, you might be, but I'm going to leave it all stuck to one side up to there. There you go. You can go as well. I mean, none of this none of this really matters except for that first one. They're all just going to fall in through all, like letters in a mailbox and nothing's happening to it. The horse jump is OP. Look at that. There's something that's very satisfying to me about seeing them all just kind of getting held in place. If you had like an M60 or a rifle or really anything, even the ones that are going through and resetting the pathing, you've still got so many targets that you can have a crack at. So I'm going to go uh, set time 122. We're going to go with a horde knight and just see what happens. There'll be like cops and stuff like that. I'm not really testing for those, nor the pigeons. Just any sort of bunker will be fine for those. You're still all good. I hear another pigeon. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for you, pigeons. Go away. I'm trying to deal with this. I've put in some lanterns just so I can see what's happening. And, well, that's all that's happening. That's that's it. It is just a cluster. It is like a loaf. If there's like a meatloaf, this is like zombie meatloaf. A condensed particle. Look at this brick of zombies. You can just throw one Molotov. You can just hose with them 60. You can fire... A rocket launcher? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get... Get back in my body, please. I'm going to get a grenade. One contact grenade to do an awful lot of damage to all of you. Cop this. Talk about efficiency. One grenade at a time does all of that. It's like a, it's like an explosion block. It's like an explosion bunker with a drop into, but way better. Aim up a little bit. Go again. Probably aim a bit better this time, please. There you go. Turns out my lack of talent is still the biggest hurdle I have to get over. <laughs> I 
I love this game. I love this game. And more specifically, I love bending this game over and bending it to my will. <laughs> it's so good. I'm trying to see where damage is being done. That one there is... I mean, I've, I, after all the testing I've done, it's only now getting down to about half health, which is not difficult to repair at all. You're looking even better than the other ones. And half the damage is probably from the grenades I threw down here. Everything's copped a bit of a sputtering from that. But if you didn't have these poles, and if you kept how it was before with the, the main blocks... Get rid of you, so I can show like that... If you just had it like that across the whole way... Oh, uh, I broke the pilot. That's fine. That's fine. Um, if they do break that first one, they're just going to move to the next one, and then to the next one, and then to the next one. That's not really too much of a problem at all. So you can build these barricades, but what, like, look at this. still there. There's just so little damage being done because they're just running into it rather than actually trying to swing at it. You don't really have to worry. <laughs> That is that has worked spectacularly well. You're still fine. You're still fine. Everything is still fine. So I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. The horse jump is spectacular. It bricks the zombies. They have no idea what to do with it. And if you build it right, you don't really have to worry about much. So go out, enjoy the horse jump, use it to destroy the zombies in the most visceral way possible. I, I'm stoked with how well that has gone. But I'll have to come back and find other ways to break this game in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.